Okay, uh, today's lesson is about uh, tiling. Um, mainly, it's used for games development. Um, so today we're just gonna look at how we can create tiles for um, that we can bring into any of the 3D applications, especially in Maya, um, to create our tiles. So uh, first of all. Uh, we want to get an image. Uh, you can download it or take a photo of your own. A um, couple of things. First of all, is to make sure that uh, you have consistent lighting throughout your image, and you do not want to have um, dark corners or dark edges in the photograph. So, look, looking at this uh, picture, we have a rough idea, and we are going to use this image to create our towel. So first of all, I'm just going to set this to a regular layer to unlock it. And the next thing I want to do is to select the area that I find will allow or to give me the best result of a towel based on consistent lighting. So I'm just gonna shift and marquee select the area that I want. Okay, so you can see the marquee. All right, if that is what you want, you can always um, select crop or you can just use your crop tool immediately. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to hit enter twice to get my crop image. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is um, to create a tile. All right, uh, I need to go to filter and I need to go to other and offsets. Now offsets allow us to look at um, the four areas. Now in the tiling system we need to make sure that all sites are able to um, match up next to each other or top or bottom to each other so this is the reason why we need to create an offset to look at where the, the seams are. So um, at this point, uh, what we are going to do is, uh, based on the horizontal and vertical, it's really up to you. But at this point of time, I'm just going to use um, the center. So this is about right, so I'm just going to click OK. And the next thing that I want to do is to look at where my seams are. So if you zoom in, you're going to see um, two lines going right at the center. This is telling us that um, there's something wrong with um, or not or our image is not really telling correctly. In a way, so what we are going to do is to fix this. So there are a couple of ways to fix this. First of all, you can again select the the area that you want. Okay. So once you have selected the area, you can copy and paste it to a, another layer. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is to lower my opacity of the layer 0, which is my original image. And selecting my layer 1, I am going to move this across maybe even here if I want to, just to give you a general idea of how this works. Um, the next thing that I want to do is, um, again, two ways either I can use uh, erase and erase off the sides here to, to have a soft look. Um, if not, I can control click on the image here okay, to get the marquee selected and look for this icon here. Okay. So, what this is going to do is I will be painting in black and white. So, I'm just going to use black and make sure that this is a soft brush all right and stop painting maybe too much you just want to get a really nice um soft side so that it can blend into the background so i'm just going to increase move back to 100% on my opacity 
and if I were to turn on and off my image it should blend somewhat alright so if it is not blending too well you can of course uh, paint more on the mask itself alright so this is one way copy paste and creating the mask for it and um, really soften the edges so that it can blend into the background now another way is to use our healing brush okay this is our healing brush it works the similar way to your clone and stem tool alright so alternate hold down your alternate and left mouse click on whichever area that you uh, prefer or want to work with and create another layer for it and you can paste it okay so this will also allows you to kind of blend across what you need and the reason why we want to use a secondary layer is so that uh, we do not want to mess up our image uh, our original image okay so I have created tile uh, the next thing is to bring it into Maya okay so we're gonna save our file as uh, Taga file all right okay just gonna save over as stone tile and um, save just replace and you're gonna get 24 32 bits um, because this uh, image has no alpha so I'm just gonna save as 24 bits all right and I'm gonna go to Maya so in Maya um, we can create a plane really quickly okay because we just want to look at effects of tiling so I'm just gonna go into the inputs and create a whole bunch of uh, subdivisions all right and the next thing I want to do is to right click and assign a new material select Lambit go to color select the checker select files and open up our new texture which is my stone tile okay so once I hit uh, okay hit number six just to look at the stone tile now in this image we are not gonna see much from what we have here we do not know yet if our Photoshop image is a tile so how do we really look or how do we really check in Maya um, or in any of the 3d applications um, you may heard of per face mapping now in in this little um, demonstration I'm just gonna show you these are all your faces or if you can remember alright so what we are trying to do in fact is to put the entire piece of image the tall image into each face this is what we call by per face mapping so how do we do that we have to go into the UV texture editor all right and polygons we have something called unitize so what happens when we unitize um, before I do that let me just bring this across so that you can tell the difference all right this is one big looking image but when I hit unitize it becomes small all right and most likely our character is gonna be oh you can in fact uh, one of the nice ways to create a cube um, this would be our placeholder as our character so if we were to look at our image right now 
our image is in detailing but uh, as you can tell there are a lot of white lines running across this is what uh, when we create uh, our tall image in Photoshop this is what we have to be careful with okay because uh, you can tell between the two images uh, um, there is an inconsistency of um, tone values so if we were to really put this into consistency this would look much better all right so this is about tiling and of course uh, creating tiles in Photoshop and setting um, a tile surface in Maya okay so just uh, this is our this will be the end of my demonstration for tiling thank you for watching